What is important when we try to treat the dysfunction of the hand and the arm is we have to be aware that the carpal tunnel is very, very narrow and there are different components that may add actually to the compression of the median nerve. One is the ligamentum flexorum where all the tendons, flexor tendons travel through. Uh, another very important component is a muscle which is called pronator quadratus that connects those two bones. It's like a mixture of many different tissues that actually culminate creating tension in that part of the radius. When we palpate the radius in the different parts, we find the resilience here in this case, all the way down to there and just that last part, like of an inch. I try when I want to actually make a motion as if I would wring a little towel, a small towel, that I can go that way. You see, one hand goes immediately, one externally. And now when I want to go the other way, there's a tremendous barrier. So I can use actually this part of the bone as a handle to access all the different layers of tension by actually following in the direction of ease, exaggerating, adding quite a bit of induction, and then go the other direction, just as far as I can. And I follow again into the easy direction, exaggerating with quite an intense contact. And at the same time, I give a stretch here to the fascia that covers actually the nerve there where it comes out of the tunnels. I'm actually stretching the nerve a little bit at the same time. I repeat, I test now, it's already more easy. I can go in both direction. So I'm also reducing the strain inside the bone a little bit, but I think the main emphasis is all the structures which are related to that part of the radial bone, they, all the connective, structure, connective tissue structures, they are part of the treatment. However, we have to check also what the two large bones, the radius and the ulna, are doing in their relationship, in their connectedness, concerning the interosseous membrane. So what we are doing is we are gently rotating the whole forearm internally while we hold the fascial bed of those two large bones. And we ask you, please, that you do a tiny rotation outward. Okay, and let go again. And we have a, a big motion won't help us. So you go against my resistance and I guide your elbow a little bit in extension, just a few millimeters. Yes, very, very, very good. And we can feel that one segment here in the midsection where the interosseous membrane has hold too much strain. We actually f help the bones to come closer together there. And through her counter motion, we can get this opening of the radius into a larger connectedness and I feel the difference now in the mobility of the carpal bones. You know, we have to be aware if I just adjust the carpal bone locally without treating the very deep intermuscular septi and the interosseous membrane, I may not be successful in having a long-term result.